While you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. My brother right here with the black hat. My sister. My sister. My sister. It said, cursed shall we be in the field. How were we cursed in the field? We were picking cotton. Getting our backs whipped. Getting our children taken from us and sold. You know how else we are cursed? Give me Hosea 3 and 4. You had a question about Jesus? But let's deal with that. You know how else we cursed? We believe that everything good is Caucasian. That's a curse. Bring it out. But you want to know why? Hosea 3 and 4. Read that. For the children of Israel shall abide many days without a king. Stop. The children of Israel is you, is you, is you, is us, is you. We are the children of Israel. We That's are the right. people of the book. But God said something right there. He said the children of Israel said what? Shall abide many days without a king. We have no leaders. I was just talking to somebody about this. Every leader we had, what happened to him? Say it again. They killed him. What side of the city you from, sis? South side. You familiar with Fred Hampton? Fred Hampton was from the west side. He was a Black Panther. How did he die? He got killed. Malcolm X, how did he die? He was killed. So when it says king, don't think it just means a literal king. King is a title of a leader. That's so the black, Hispanic, and Native American man and woman has no leaders. All them people that's supposed to be our leaders, they're crooked. They do things unjustly. Not having a image, meaning what? We gonna believe whatever image that they tell us. Read. Shall abide many days without a king, and without a prince, and without a sacrifice, and without an image, and without a what? 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 And without an image. We have no image. Are y'all listening? We have no image. Anything great, you think it's somebody else. And because you have no image, you have no role model to look up to. Do y'all understand what I'm saying? That's why we destroyed, that's why we messed up in the head. Do you understand, sir? We have no images. Anytime we had some real things to look at, they got destroyed. They got taken down. Tulsa, Oklahoma, that was a black community. It got bombed. It got bombed and shut up by a racist mob. Anything we have, it get destroyed. It get taken away from us. Read. And without an ephod, and without a teraphim, afterward shall the children of Israel return and seek the Lord their God. Right now is the time for us to return to the Lord. My brother right here with the fatigue hat. We try to follow everything but God. That stuff don't work. We try Buddhism. We try Christianity. We try Islam. We try politics. That stuff does not help our people. How many times the black and Hispanic gonna keep talking about, oh, I gotta go vote. That's not helping us. Bring it out. What's going to help us is returning back to God, That's not right. the church, to God. That's right. Give me Lamentations 4 and 17. We got to stop trying to find help in other things. We doing everything but what is the missing piece. We doing everything but what's going to help us. Right. I'm going to make it plain in case I didn't lost somebody. We don't know how to deal with each other. That's right. What That's book right. on the face of the earth teach us how to deal with one another? I'm asking a question. Anybody can answer it. What book on the face of the earth teaches us how to deal with each other? I'm not talking about nobody else. I'm talking about the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. The Bible. So when y'all read the Bible and you see Israel, that's us. So your question was Romans 9 and 4. Yeah, when they say like, oh, that's not, that was the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. Now everybody says that. Let's get that. So Romans 9 and 4 is not the Old Testament. That's the New Testament. Right. 
And the Romans, they was the Hellenized yeah. Jews, like it, it, it So you know a little something, right? A little bit. That's good that you over here. But just knowing is not enough. Give me James 1 and 22, hold that. This is for you. What's your name? Will. Will. So, Will, just knowing is not enough. You got to start a plan. That's why you over here. Read that. James chapter 1 and verse 22. But be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Old school, what that mean? You got to do what the Bible say. Let's read it again. But be ye doers of the word. We got to actually do what God says. And this ain't me just only directing this to you. You need to hear it because you know a little bit. But you got to start applying what you know so you could be an example to the rest of our people. That's the problem with us. See, we go to church. I'm talking about just think about our people. Stay with me, Will. We go to church, but we don't do nothing that God says. That's what we do. We don't do nothing. We listen to the word. We read the word. We talk about the word, but we don't follow the word. Right. This word of God is what's going to change our community. It's not marching. It's not having a meeting. It's not laying down on the floor or in the street. That's not going to change our communities. That's not going to help us deal better with each other. What's going to help us deal better with each other is this. Read it again. But be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. It said, be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. We got to do what the Bible says. That's if you're right. just somebody that just hear it and you don't apply it, you're deceiving yourself. Now, y'all just seen the situation that took place right there, right? Right? Somebody got arrested. Car gone. Y'all probably shocked. Why do these things happen? Give me Romans 13. Bring it out. Because we got to deal with what's going on. Because what you talking about in Romans 9 and 4, that's talking about the Israelites. The Bible belongs to the Israelites. But knowing that, remember what we talk about. That's not going to change the community. The Bible tells you how to deal when you're in front of authorities. Don't get rowdy. Don't try to get tough. Don't try to tussle with them. It tells you how to deal with authorities. That's why I said we don't know how to move. We don't know how to deal with each other. We don't know how to deal in situations. A lot of time when it's situations like that, we escalate it. We make it worse. Read Romans chapter 13 and verse 1. Let every soul be subject unto the higher power. What did God say, Will? Let every soul be subject unto the higher power. My sister right here, do you understand what that means? Yeah. What does that mean? No, 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 no. Read it again. Let every soul be subject unto the higher power. It said, okay, subject to the higher power. What does it mean to be subject to something? There you go. Did you hear that? Be subordinate to the higher powers. Read. For there is no power but of God. So wait, when it said those higher powers, Right there, that one referring to God is talking about what's set up in the land. You have to follow the law that's set, but there's no power that's above God. Watch this, read. But of God, the powers that be are ordained of God. God put those authorities in place. Do y'all hear me? God put those authorities in place. Just think of how Chicago would be if it didn't have police. Think about that. What if this city did not have law enforcement? Right. Do y'all not see how stuff is going on right now? It ain't never been this worse. How old are you? 18. How old are you? 39. How old are you, sir? How old are you? 58. How old are you, sir? From the time when they was young to the time he was young, me and him about in the same age, but we a little older. From your time, it's way worse. Look, kids can't even go outside and play. A five-month-old baby just got shot in the head and died. Bring it up! In Chicago. And you have our people that say foolish things. Defund the police. Do you know how simple you sound? 
If this city does not have law enforcement to control commotion, it will be chaos. Uh, it's so chaos. it already is, but they trying to contain it, but it's still getting out of hand. Think about it. Downtown used to be off limits. It's not off limits no more. People getting their head blown off down here and everything. So you need authorities. Right here in Romans 13 is telling you how to deal with the authorities. Read. Whosoever therefore resisted the power. So if you go against the authorities that is set up, remember it said there's no power but of God and God set those powers up. He set that up for a reason. Read. Resisted the ordinance of God. So if you go against the order that's set up here, the authority that's set up here, you're going against God because he set it up. Watch this. Read. And they that resist this shall receive them to themselves damnation. Read it again from the top. Go ahead. Whosoever therefore resisteth the power, resisteth the ordinance of God. And they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. So if you go against the authority, the powers that set up, you're going to receive to yourself damnation. Meaning you're going to receive to yourself some problems. Because you don't want to comply to the order that they're giving you, you might be going to jail tonight. Because you don't want to take out the ID, something very simple, you probably going to be on 26 in California. You probably going to be on 26 in California. So God is telling us how to deal with authorities. Give me Proverbs 15 and verse 1. Listen up. You get pulled over. This is how you pose to carry yourself. Who want to be shot in their front seat? I know I don't, but the Bible tells us how to carry ourselves. This is what we got to come back to. Read the book of Proverbs, chapter 15 and verse 1. So say you get pulled over. How should your tone be? How should you be speaking? Read. A soft answer turneth away wrath. What that say? A soft answer turneth away wrath. Meaning what? If you don't respond aggressively, you will stop somebody from responding to you aggressively. This is stuff that we don't know. Because usually when somebody comes to us, what we do? We pop off, we get mad, we cuss them out. That's not the time to do that. You dealing with somebody that got the authority, if the situation escalate, could put you to death. Y'all understand that? So God telling you how to deal. A soft answer, turn it away, rap. Read. But grievous words stir up anger. But grievous words, harsh words, will piss somebody off. So you say something crazy back to that man that's in authority, then he can make your day a little worse. What could have been a simple, hey, let me see your ID. Okay, go on. Go on about your business. Now you get took out the car. Bruh. Now you get handcuffs. Now you finna go to jail. All because you don't know how to deal with authority. Your mouth. You don't know how to control your mouth. But the Bible teaches us these things. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.